Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're brand new, welcome. I'm super glad to have you here. My name is Jessica and I make videos about workwear, luxury goods, and the pre-loved market. Today's video is going to be showcasing four coats that I think are must-haves for the working woman in her spring wardrobe. So this is gonna be a collaboration with Jessica from Gal on Duty. We are going to be showing these four coats. We picked the same four styles and we'll be showing you how we style them a little bit differently. So definitely go and check out her channel. Obviously we have the connection that our first name is Jessica, but also she loves workwear and she has a classic and feminine style and she likes to interject color in a really nice way. So I think that you will definitely love her channel. I will link her channel right here and I will also link her video version of this video down below as well as a link to her Instagram. You should follow her on both. Her channel also talks about motivation as well as maternity style because she is currently pregnant. So definitely go and check that out and I will go ahead and get started with these coats. So like I said, we picked the same four styles that we think are must have spring coats, especially for the working woman. So although I love a good leather coat, that is not something I'll be talking about in this video because one, as much as I like them, I don't tend to reach for them that much. I know for some people's style, they reach for them all the time, but I don't wear them that often. And when I do, it tends to be on the weekend and for a more casual event. So not something that I would choose for work wear. Whereas these ones I wear for work as well as casual and I just absolutely love them. And these are definitely the ones that we both agreed were sort of must haves in our wardrobe. So we are styling each of these four different coats in different ways. So if you wanna see different ways to style them, definitely check it out as well as the version of this coat that we have and that we love. So the first type of coat that we will talk about is the blazer and I love me some blazers. So blazers are my favorite. Blazers and heels I think dress up every look, make it look chic, make it look smart, make it look polished and I just love that. So you will almost always find me in blazers and heels. This particular blazer I chose to represent my sort of spring blazer collection even though there's a, definitely a few that I will wear because I love the color of it. I think the blush is really beautiful for spring. So that is why I chose this one. This is by Joseph and I love the tailored look of this. Since it is a bit shorter, I only really wear it with skirts. And so you will see in the video of me modeling it, how I chose to style this particular one. But I have different cuts of blazers that I like with different Things. Some I absolutely love with jeans or with pants, some with dresses. So this one would work really nicely with a dress as well. What I love about this particular blazer is, again, the structured cut of it. I like the short length for this one, but what I absolutely love are the buttons and the details of this. So it has these beautiful gold buttons you can see all along. And I also love the cut of the sleeve. I think that that is beautiful. It adds sort of a Balmain-esque vibe to it as well as the gold buttons, but I think it just kind of jazzes it up. And what I think is great about a blazer for spring, you might say, why is a blazer a coat? A lot of times we're wearing something and it gets warm throughout the day. So a blazer is a great way to dress up an outfit. Let's say you're going into a meeting, you need to look a little bit more polished or if you are kind of cold in the morning but then get warmer later on, I really like to wear a blazer as a layering piece. I think all of the other coats, or pretty much all of the other coats I'll be talking about are something that I'll wear outside and then generally discard once I'm at work, but not so much with this one. I can wear a blazer all the time and I wear them all year round. So in this particular outfit, I chose to pair it with a short sleeve bodysuit as well as this big sort of poofy skirt which I thought was really cute with this and so I can easily take the blazer off and just wear that as an outfit and I think that this color looks really beautiful with neutrals with navies with whites and so that is how I paired this one. The next type of coat that we will be discussing is the duster coat. And my version of the duster coat is this one by Rebecca Taylor, and I absolutely adore it. So this coat is a sweater coat, duster, long cardigan thing. It's kind of a conglomeration of all of those. And I really like a duster. They're super in style right now. I think they can be really beautiful. I tend to wear a more 
form-fitting piece underneath since they are kind of loose and flowy but this particular one I will wear on the weekend as well as for work and so in order to dress it up for work I really do like it with a tailored pair of pants and the colors in this are really beautiful for spring so it's got these grays these pinks these whites these neutrals kind of all interwoven together and so I paired it with these navy slacks and this tan and white tan tan or white kind of bodysuit and I just think that it looks really beautiful with that with this length I don't know this particular duster if I would wear it with skirts and dresses or like it as much I really do like a kind of tailored skinny pant with it but you absolutely could with a duster in general and what's going to be different about a duster is it's going to be this straight coat and that it does not does not come in it does not close anyway I like the big pockets on this one but you can close them with a belt I, I generally find that I like a duster to just kind of hang and this one's really comfortable I bought this one off of eBay from Linda's stuff which is sort of a reselling site they have a lot of items that are new including some of these so I think that they just kind of ordered a bunch from Rebecca Taylor as they were going out of style I believe these are from last spring and so I bought it from there and there's a ton more available so I'll link a couple of those in different sizes down below but if the size sells out you can just search her site and you will find a bunch more because again there was like I think at least 10 last time that I checked so absolutely adore this and so I will link actually pretty much everything down below if I can find current ones or similar current styles I will link them but these are mostly past seasons because they're ones that I love and continue to wear so I will link something close or if I can find that match pre-loved I will go ahead and link that so that is the second one which is the duster style the third must-have spring coat is the tweed coat and I really like this one because it's kind of a transition from winter because it's got this black and white and because tweed in general is a kind of a winter weight it works really nicely as that transition piece this one is lined and is you can kind of see how thin the sleeves are so it actually is quite lightweight so it does actually work nicely for the spring but if you layered it you could also wear it for fall and winter so I love this one this is an, a little bit of an older version from Nanette Lepore but I have seen a few of these pre-loved so I will go ahead and link those and I really love the length of this this is another one I really love with these long kind of sweater coats and these long styles to wear a skinny pant so I paired this one with black and this top that I'm wearing right now because I just think that that adds a really chic crisp look to these and then of course definitely wear it with heels but I've worn this with jeans I've worn it with dresses I've worn it with skirts I've worn it with so many different things because it's a great piece I love the little feminine details of the sort of floral buttons and just that style this one when closed comes in slightly at the waist so it is going to be a slightly more form-fitting than the duster coat and of course it has the versatility that you can close it so it adds a little bit more of a kind of formal polished look to this beautiful coat but i think a tweed in general is just one of the most classic prints isn't quite the right word but classic materials that you can have for work and I absolutely suggest having some kind of tweed in your work wardrobe I definitely have a few tweed blazers that I adore and then some more heavyweight winter coats as well but this one I just think is a really wonderful option for spring and the last type of coat is my absolute favorite which is the trench coat this one is a vintage Burberry coat and I will link the video down below because I've gone into the whole story of buying it and getting it repaired and all of that but I love this coat I've had this coat for years I wear it all the time and I wear it with everything I wear it casually with jeans I wear it with skirts I wear it with dresses in this particular instance I showed how perfect it looks with dress I just absolutely love it I don't tend to love this with black though I have a black and white one which I'll insert a picture of and that one is just a vintage coat and I do like that one a little bit more with black and I also have a other another Burberry coat which you'll see in that video but that's like a shorter nylon one what I love about this one is this classic weight classic color and the length I adore the length of this one I think it's really flattering and really beautiful I think a trench is kind of a must-have in anyone's working wardrobe or really anyone's wardrobe in general just because they're so flattering with the way it comes in at the waist you can wear it a ton of different ways and you can also kind of 
button it all the way up and have it be a little bit more edgy if you get a double breasted military style which I absolutely love. Now this version since it is vintage isn't one of the current Burberry versions but there are some similar options. They're a little bit of a different length. I will link those down below. You can find these pre-loved and I love them but every once in a while they come back in season with another cut like this. This is sort of the classic tan trench color which I know that Jessica is styling as well and I just I love this coat this is my favorite it gets a ton of use and I just think it looks beautiful with pinks with navies with whites with neutrals reds pretty much everything I just don't particularly love it on me in black so I don't tend to wear that as much but you absolutely could it's just a personal preference of mine so I think a trench is a must-have in any working woman's wardrobe but really anyone's wardrobe and it's especially a great coat for spring but you can wear them all year round and I just think that they are wonderful I do think that the Burberry ones are worth the investment but I don't think you need to pay full price for them they are astronomically high I think you can find them pre-loved and they last for pretty much ever and Burberry is great with repairs so I I just love it I think it is a definite must-have in pretty much anyone's wardrobe. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you're not already subscribed to Jessica's channel, go and check that out for Gal on Duty as well as her Instagram. And I will link both of those so that you can get to those because you'll just love her style. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and just comment and say hi, even if you don't have any questions. But I'd love to hear what are your must-have coat styles, especially for the spring. Thanks again, and I hope to see you in a future video. Bye!